Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit buzzers. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So we will now look at active and passive buzzer outputs uh, on our Arduino Uno controller. Now electric buzzers are DC powered and equipped with an integrated circuit. They are widely used in computers, printers, photocopiers, alarms, automotive electronic devices, telephone, timers, and other electronic products. Buzzers can be categorized as active or passive. The difference between the two is that the active buzzer has a built-in oscillating circuit, so it will generate a sound when electrified. So that means when you put on a voltage onto that device, it will actually operate or make a sound. A passive buzzer does not have such a source so it will not sound if DC signals are used. Instead, you'll need to use a square wave whose frequency is between 2K and 5K to drive it. Now, if you want, you can turn the pins of those two buzzers face up and the one with the green circuit board is a passive buzzer, while the one enclosed with the black tape is an active one, so it's all embedded within it. Typically, your active buzzers will be slightly more uh, expensive than your passive one. So we're going to be wiring these passive and active buzzers to our Arduino Uno R3 controller on our st Super Starter Kit. Now we'll use two push buttons that, with pull down resistors will control the buzzers. Now pressing the first button will play a melody on the passive buzzer and then a two tone alarm sound will be on the active buzzer when the other push button is selected. So let's get started and what we'll do is take a look at the actual um, hardware that we have here. So here's my Elegoo Uno you know, R3 um, controller. And we have our two push buttons here. And they are wired with um, two of our pull down resistors off of the one side. So that's going to uh, ground. So it keeps it as a zero volt unless it's pressed. Then we take that pin and move it up to the high. And so that's what we do for both these two. Then we have our Act, or passive uh, buzzer right here and then we have our active one right here and you'll notice that the active one does have a positive pin that will go to the pin that we're controlling on so our passive one is going to pin number uh, 8 and our active one is going to pin number 10 so that is our um, hardware and that's the way we have it wired into our circuit and you'll see at my first push button is going to pin number two and the second one's going to pin number three. So let's take a look at our actual uh, circuit that we have here. So we have, uh, we define our notes. Now this melody sample is actually taken directly in the public domain. Um, so you can click here and actually see the actual original one before I modified and made it so that we can use it with a push button. So here we define some notes. And then we define the melody. So note four, uh, note three, note three, A three, G three, zero, note B, C four. So that is our melody. Then we do our note durations. And you see our melody uh, uh, button. We say it's on two. And our buzzer is on 10. That is our passive one. And our active buzzer is on three or our active buzzer button is on three, so two and three. And then we have our um, declaration here that we say that our pin mode, our melody button is on as an input, our buzzer output, and then we have an active bu uh, buzzer button is an input. Now, what we do is we say if our melody button is high, so we've pressed it, then we play our melody, so this actually then plays the melody that we wanted in our circuit. Then what we do is on our active buzzer, we check and see if our um, active buzzer button is actually high. And so if we hit it, then what we do is we do a duration, 1 to 80, and we sound the alarm here with a weight between one, one millisecond each, each time. 
then what we do is we change to another frequency for another 100 and then we wait two milliseconds between high and low so we'll get a two-tone effect when we uh, hit that button so what we can do is we can verify that code our sketch and then once we verified we can then uh, download or upload our control or our logic into our controller here so again it'll compile it we could skip this step and you actually go right to the upload and so now everything is uploaded correctly and what we can do is we'll play the first melody on the first switch here Do that once again you'll see that once it starts playing the melody it will continue until it finishes that section because we have those delays built in then we can hit the second one to give you your tune tone and we'll do that once again so very easy to implement our buzzers on our Arduino you know um, controller. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on logging or on data logging or numbering systems, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.